so very excitingly today, kiddos, we're going to go take you to the Bluebird. You're going to meet some of your godparents. And we'll go past Raffles, which I'm sure will have to prevent you from going out too much when you're older. <laughs> no, no, don't go on, he's going to cry. If Tabitha, you would want to be a godmother. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cheers. Funny thing is, so their birthday is July, right? So all their friends in their school year will be going out before them. Also, the issue is, is they'll be quite well known. Ooh. So people will know yeah. they're not 18. You start lying about their age now. You're two and a half now, darling. Or you just buy raffles. So they can legally drink in our venues, jeopardising our license. Please. <laughs> oh. I'd rather jeopardise someone else's licence than our ring. Oh, they won't be cool, will they? So Chelsea's obviously a massively important part of our lives and it'll be a massive part of Cosmo and Apollo's lives. So it's pretty wonderful to be able to take them out for the first time. And there's a small matter in them meeting their godmothers as well. One of whom we haven't actually asked yet. No, not yet. We haven't told Tabitha yet. We haven't we? told Tabitha so, so it won't just be you two crying today when we're not feeding you. It'll be your godmother Tabby as well, if I know her well enough. All right, I'm going to get ready quickly. OK. Right, don't be too long. Ten minutes, yeah? Yeah, fine. Ollie's version of 10 minutes is very different to the average person's. I literally take one or two minutes more than you. No, you don't. You li we're literally running 45 minutes late for a very important lunch that could shape our children's future. God, it's hot. It's boiling. I just shouldn't have worn cashmere. I need to take this off because it's bloody hot. I mean, sometimes nerves get the better of me in, in kind of big occasions. I used to get at the beginning of Chelsea, actually, so it's always important to take preventative measures. As I was saying, today is all about the babies. Bob is there, Honestly, I'm so nervous I had to take two Imodium just to make sure. That is not healthy. Just I know, shit. but I, no, I was, no, I was terribly worried. I didn't want to do it in a public place. You know what? I don't think this is actually going to go through this gap. It will. Oh, it does. Just. Really emotional. <laughs> really on the verge of crying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, really, really emotional. I feel like I've just got the butterflies. First of the time in Bluebird. Hello. Just so oh, lovely. Nice. See you. Hi, Luca. Absolutely. Pleasure. And there they are. Just divine. I mean, unspeakable. <laughs> Is everyone over there? Everyone's there. <laughs> How's it going? I'm really emotional. Are you? Really it's emotional. the day you've been waiting for. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> You're crying! Nearly. <laughs> this, this is Apollo. This is Apollo. Oh my god. I can't believe I'll small there. Oh no, don't go on, it's gonna cry! <laughs> They're so much bigger than they were. Yeah, let's sit down. Yeah. Oh my god. So cute. I've never His seen anything lips. like it. It's got such good lips. And that's only filler since this week. <laughs> it's such a twat. It's so chilled. Yeah. Aren't they? Sophie's like, this could be easy. This is easy. They Give me three. So... so Liv and Sophie both already know that they are going to be godparents to Cosma and Apollo. Yeah, we had asked them both before, um, obviously, and sadly, we lost the baby. But um, in their own unique way, both of them are going to be amazing godparents to Apollo and Cosma. To Apollo and Cosma. Apollo and Cosma. And, Cosma. and Ollie and Gareth. And Ollie and Gareth. And, and obviously to the godmothers. <laughs> Sophie. Mm -hmm. Cheers, baby. You, who would have thought you and I would be standing here with I two know. babies I know, I just, in the Bluebird? It's, we waited for so long, I just can't believe they're finally here. I don't think you know that you've been born yet, to be honest, because they're so chilled and they're so easy. I don't think that that will last forever. I think that novelty is going to like wear off very quickly. But I'm going to cherish every moment that we have now. I'm going to take him and just put him in the box. Yeah, I think it's a bit no, no. warm. Let me right, fine. grab her. Yeah, bye, baby. I'm so lucky for oh, some of the babies. Bye, bye, baby. So how are you actually? I was fine. And then the other night we had, like, the foot alarm thing went off, their blood oxygen. And then oh I was gosh. up. I didn't go to sleep until 6. So I was up from 1 until 6. That is just terrifying. So was I, but I wasn't with a child. So you were shagging. <laughs> well, I think that's important because you can do the 18. Oh, I can do the fun stuff. Right. And then we're like, oh, Dad's such sort a the lives out. You, you can do the slightly older stuff. You can do when they're a bit older, you, as in, like, you need I to get their memberships at nightclubs. You can do that what? stuff. So although it's amazing seeing Liv and Sophie with the twins, it is actually Tabitha we're here to ask to be godmother. She has no idea whatsoever. She really doesn't. But when they're babies, it's difficult because I feel that they should probably, like, you, you need to step up slightly. Oh, I, I, so I just fed her. maybe it would be a really lovely thing if Tabitha, you would want to be a godmother. No, 
there. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. You make me cry. Oh, Tommy. You don't have to. Oh Where's the baby's muslin? Where's the muslin? Where's the muslin? Where's the muslin? I'm here for them anyway. <laughs> well, you're here I'm for them. Sorry. You're here for them properly now. It's got old milk on it. There you go. Oh my god. She <laughs> 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 will like that. Oh, sweet. I feel so lucky, and I didn't expect it <laughs> at all. I really, really didn't, because I knew that Sophie and Liv were godmothers already, and I literally thought best godparents ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so that's a yes then? Obviously. So the three of them are going to be amazing, very different godmothers. I mean, you've got Liv, who, I mean, she will be amazing when they're like... She's the naughty one. Yeah, when they're like 18 plus. Sophie. She's the queen of ageing. She's someone that will make sure they never age if they don't want to. They should be very good with girls as well. I mean, Tabitha is incredible with babies. She's got a little one herself and she is just... You can she's the queen of cuddles. <laughs> Thank you. I love the fact that's covered in spit up I'm and milk sorry, that yeah, you've just washed your face on. All over it's got mascara all over it. We'll frame it. I remember when I first picked up Cosmo and I looked at her and I was like, I will look after you for the rest of your life. Like, I will, like, I'll love them. It was, it was literally like, she literally went burst like, oh, it. Because like... it has been such a long old road. You know what? They, I think out of everyone I know, for them it has been a real struggle. I didn't actually appreciate how hard the whole surrogacy journey was going to be. I sort of thought it was a case of like, whack a bit of sperm in and there's your baby. But actually, I mean, for, for them as well, I think it was really hard. And I think they kept thinking it was like, not a sign that it wasn't meant to be, but I think after a while, you suddenly sort of almost want to give up. We waited four years. Literally four, four years. And we share. I know we share cozy mouse. Aww. We've got the, the trinity of godmothers now. It's either in Macbeth, the three witches around the thing. <laughs> the witches of Chelsea. The three, the three oh, God, we are the three witches of Chelsea. Actually, this worked out well because you're more of a girly girl. I'm um, a tomboy. I can teach right. him to ride a motorbike. Perfect. A motorbike? As if yeah. you can ride that. When they first asked me to be godmother, they gave me a box and I had a positive pregnancy test in. And then a few weeks later, they lost them. And I remember, honestly, like, it actually gives me shivers when I think about it. But the worst thing about that, we gave her a box for the stick that someone had peed on her. <laughs> I didn't look at that side of it. I remember having tears in it's my been, eyes. It's, it's been it's been such a hard journey. <laughs> that episode of Chelsea, I think, was a really difficult one, especially the fact that oh, everyone was so I happy. I, I haven't watched it for years. It was so emotional. I just it was like, and then it was like everyone was so happy for us. We got all these messages, and then it said sadly, Ollie and Gary oh, no. a couple of weeks later. And they kept, we were speaking to Chelsea about it. We decided that was the right thing to do because actually yeah. it's a journey, and like this is. It's the end of the very beginning of the journey. Yeah. And like, they're here and they're healthy exactly. and they're brilliant. It's and the end of one story and the start of a, a whole new amazing one, a long one. Yeah. And they couldn't be more beautiful or chilled. I mean, sorry to say this, but it seems easy. So <laughs> you make it look easy, so I've got to say. When they finally manage to book a holiday and go away, you're looking after both of them by both yourself, them. by the way. Could you imagine <laughs> what we'd come back to? <laughs> yeah, come on. So everyone would have had their hair dyed, one would have extensions. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love a holiday right now but if Sophie is the babysitter I think we probably have to wait for a while like 18 years thank you so much Cheers. for trusting me with well, thank you all of you thank you for giving us beautiful God children thank you so much and beautiful friendship it's so funny to see them now because Ollie is so not a morning person I know and um, and now he's sending me messages at 7.30 a.m. on a Sunday. It's just not the same person, but that's exactly what they d didn't want to be anymore. They, they're like, you know, we are ready for this next step and they so deserve it. They are both, honestly, like the most amazing fathers you could imagine. And I feel like they've taken such good care of me and they're going to take even better care of the twins. Ollie and Gareth are getting along so well that I almost, it almost makes me dislike them because I know how difficult the early, the first few weeks can be. But they have taken to it like a duck to water. And I know they've had a really tough time leading up to the birth and also all their, all their difficulties with, with the pregnancies and everything like that. So maybe it is about time that they got an easy ride.